Hi, in this video lecture, we're going to learn the internals of vector. Now to begin with, I've declared a simple vector object. Now I would like to know what is the amount of memory reserved for this particular object. In order to know the amount of memory reserved for this, I'd like to apply the size of operator. I'd like to compile this and then run the program and see what is the output. I try to compile this program, execute this. It's 24, right? Now, why is it 24? Is because when you declare this, you have three pointer variables inside the class vector. And initially, all the three pointers are set to none, right? Okay. Now, next, I'd like to insert some elements. So to insert some elements at the rear, we have this push underscore back. I can insert some elements. Now, after this, again, if I try to verify the size, it will be the same as before, which is 24. Let me try to compile this. Right. Now, why is this 24 again is because here the number of data members inside a vector will not change. Instead, they tend to remain the same. But there is a separate memory block which is created and this pointers point here. You can just see the first pointer will point to the beginning and these two pointers point to the end. Right? Now, if I try to insert new element like this. Now, again what happens is the memory block we have presently, it is already occupied. Right? We don't have more space to insert the element. So now it creates a new block which is generally double the size of the existing block and then it will copy the data from this old block to the new block and add this new element and then it will also take care of deleting the old block. Right? Okay. This is how the resizing happens. Clear. Now, if you apply the size of operator, that remains the same. It will be 24 because that only gives you the size of this particular section, which is the data members of a vector class, which are three pointers. Right? But if you want to know the number of elements inserted, then one is you can use the size method. Along with that, there is also one more method called as capacity. So we will try to understand what is the size and capacity. The size of V will always be uh, 24 bytes, no matter it is uh, having zero elements or it is having 100 elements. Right? Now, one is the size and I would also like to observe the capacity. I would like to give a space here and then V dot capacity. Right? Okay, I'd like to copy paste the same line here and paste it here, right? And then here I'd like to do it once more and let me run the program and then see the output. First compile this, run. Can you see, initially the size was zero, capacity was also zero. After inserting the first element, the size is one, the capacity is also one. Now. After inserting second element, the size is 2 and the capacity is also 2. Now, on this observation, you might think that size and capacity are same. Now, to understand a little bit more, let us try to insert few more elements. Just try to copy paste the statements. Right? Now, the data can be same, data can be different, doesn't matter. Right. Now let me just try to run this code and try to observe the difference between size and capacity. Can you see? Uh, the size is increasing by 1 after every insertion. But if you can just observe the capacity, earlier it was 0, then it went to 1, then 2. And from 2 you can just observe that it went to 4. When, when you insert the fourth element, the capacity was retained as 4 itself. Right? Now let us try to just add up the fifth element and try to observe this. Okay. Right. I'm just adding up the fifth element. Make sure that you always save this. Right. Now you can just observe the capacity is jumped from 4 to 8. Right. The reason being 
that whenever you uh, try to insert an element right every time the memory block size is not increased by one instead what happens is it will try to increase by double or you can say into two right initially when the size is zero when all the pointers are okay null now on inserting the first element what it did it it basically create a block of size one right after that here it doubled the size from one we just double it it turned out to be two and while inserting the third element what happened out here is it again doubled the memory block from two to four right now you have a memory block of four wherein the first three elements occupied 12 23 and 21 the fourth element is still empty and if you can just observe there are two pointers out here earlier they were okay the last second and third pointer were pointing the same place but now you can just observe the second pointer is pointing after the third element the third pointer is pointing after at the end of the block of memory right okay so one of the pointer will be pointing at the beginning one pointer will be pointing up to what point the elements are filled and one more pointer is going to point at the end of the memory block right now after this Okay, you have already seen out here this particular statement that the size was 3 and the capacity was 4. Now, while inserting the fourth element, what happened is, now we observed that there is already an existing memory available where I can insert new element without resizing it. Okay, so here we just place this element and then only this pointer was updated. Right, okay. Now, the entire memory block is filled. Now when you try to insert this element, now again since it is already filled, what happened is it created a new block whose size was double of the existing one which is from 4 to 8 and out of that the fifth element you added, there are three more okay blocks which are empty as of now, this pointer points out here and this pointer points out here. Is this clear? Right. So that is the difference between the size and capacity right or uh, in case if you really want to understand more about it what you can do it is you can just try to insert some elements randomly out here right 10 elements or 20 elements you can just do that and this is before inserting if you want to verify the size you can do this so you can insert the same element there is no necessity that you should always keep inserting different different element for every insertion right and you can just observe how it keeps changing right let me just try to Clear the screen, compile this, run, you can just observe here, right, 1, 2, 4 from 8, okay, and then after 8, 16, right. Now, does it always follow the concept of doubling? No, it does not follow the concept of doubling in every compilation. In fact, it is an internal thing wherein, okay, the compilers are free to choose this algorithm. Okay, most of the compilers follow this concept of doubling. But Microsoft Visual Studio does not follow this particular standard, all right? And it is not necessary for us to know this, right? Okay. But one important point what you need to observe out here is whenever you do any kind of insertion, right? Then there's a possibility that uh, the existing block is already okay filled. So you need to create a completely new block and then the pointers point a new block. So any existing iterators which are pointing to a okay the vector objects out here then they become invalid because after insertion there is always a possibility that the entire data is moved to a completely new block right okay fine now if you want to understand more about it it is better that you work with some user defined class wherein you have this uh, default constructor destructor copy constructor and the assignment right we'll just quickly do this now uh, here is a class uh, just for understanding purpose wherein I have only written a simple constructor which is default constructor, I have written a destructor and I have written a copy constructor and the assignment operator, right? Now after this out here I am just creating an object which I will be using it in the pushback function and I am creating a vector of type A. right? But please do remember this statement will already invoke a constructor and the destructor of this will be uh, execute at the end of the main. Now here in this what I am trying to do it is at every step I am trying to insert the same element right. 
Now, when I try to insert this element, what happens is, as I said that, okay, it's going to create a block out here, then copies this element out there, right? So there will be a copying which is going to happen out there. After that, I've just given a get cache so that I don't want to execute the program at one shot. Like after every iteration, I just want to see what is the output. Then slowly I want to move ahead, right? So let me just save this particular program. Let me just come down here. Let me just try to compile this code right after this now please do remember this default constructor is for this object a right after that you executed v dot size and v dot capacity which is zero and zero and this insertion v dot push underscore back when you pass this object what happened is you copied this particular object to that memory block right okay copy constructor was invoked right now after that what happened is you went back to the loop wherein okay you try to insert a new element and as we know that okay this particular block of memory is filled now when you try to insert second element it's going to create a new block when it tries to create a new block and then it has to even copy the data from the old block to the new block right and then it should also delete the element which is present in the existing block and what you can observe here is there are two copy constructors and there is a destructor here right one copy constructor was for the element whatever you pass that's one the other one is like you just move from one place to another place like okay from the old block to the new block right it copied this okay and after that there is also a destructor right from the old block clear now when you try to insert the third element again what happens it doubles right now two elements gets copied from the old block to the new block clear observe this two elements are copied and the corresponding destructors there one element is the third element what you inserted clear after that for the fourth one you can just observe it's only a copy constructor nothing else right now fifth element you can just observe we create a block of eight elements and we copied four elements from the world to the new and then we deleted the four then uh we're trying to insert the sixth element or seventh element or eighth element no problems okay only okay we are just trying to add this element in the same block and ninth element just observe this right doubled from 8 to 16 and then eight elements were copied and then okay does it start from the old block right and then okay tenth element this one, right and finally here you can just observe that there are 11 destructors 10 for the element what was there in the block and then one for this object EA, right? I hope the concept is clear, okay, with respect to vector. And when you try doing the similar thing with list, you will have a better understanding between the comparison between vectors and the list, right? Thank you.